called for engineering. Excellence in engineering, leaders in technology. Williams Grand Prix Engineering is at the forefront of a fast-moving, highly competitive industry. Since the late 70s, Williams Grand Prix Engineering has been synonymous with quality, consistency, and tight Formula One team management. Britain has always been the trading crossroads of the world. Williams Grand Prix Engineering is a microcosm of this. Sponsors, suppliers, corporations, big and small, from around the globe, work with the Canon Williams team towards success in the Grand Prix World Championship. And 1985 will be no exception. The new Williams FW10 Honda will be the fruit of this international collaboration. Frank Williams. Our philosophy has always been and always will be to endeavor to be associated with large, important companies who have not only, obviously, financial resources, but very important technical resources. You see that with Honda, you see it with Mobil, you see it with ICI. And with that sort of backing, it means that our little company, associated with important large companies, can produce the, go the goods from this part of the world that will win many, many races. Williams were first to have their own aerodynamic wind tunnel. It's a fully calibrated scientific instrument that has made Williams the most celebrated practitioner in automotive aerodynamics. It's a good idea until we come up with a model which is a bit more cramped, and yeah. then you'd be stuck yeah. with the box. Like everything else at the Didcot base, this tunnel is entirely owned by Williams Grand Prix Engineering. Moved from the old factory to this new purpose-built laboratory, the tunnel has a moving floor on which precisely made quarter-scale models of the FW10 are continually aerodynamically tested. In charge of aerodynamics research and development is Frank Durney. In terms of the actual car performance, obviously producing less drag and more downforce will always make the car quicker. Within the limits of the current regulations, the amount of downforce we can generate uh, has been very effectively limited by the flat bottom regulations. So we're now not allowed to have high wings more than a certain width, which means the rather ugly small wings that were mounted over the rear tires have been banned, the result of which is we've lost downforce. Initially, obviously, we lost about 20% but we've uh, gained quite a lot of that back over the winter development. The loss is not as substantial as may have been anticipated when the regulation was changed. Uh, the drag loss was very substantial, and we haven't got all that back, so the cars are obviously quicker down the straight. Whereas now, the emphasis is most firmly in the court of the engines, really, and uh, so one has to work now on the aerodynamics of the car to, to make the engine work as well as possible. The major difference between 10 and Williams' past cars is the carbon fiber and Kevlar material from which it's made. Cut like a bespoke suit from sheets of woven fiber, the yellow Kevlar and the black carbon fiber will be carefully laid up in a mold and baked under high pressure in Williams' own specially designed autoclave. As Frank Williams acknowledges, ICI are world leaders in fiber technology. And Williams are now working at the core of this sophisticated aerospace construction technique, in-house. Designer of 10 and all previous Williams Grand Prix cars, Patrick Head. The carbon fiber materials uh, allow, have a very high specific strength. That means that their strength per unit weight is very high. And Another advantage is that you can, by being a laminated material, you can apply more of it in areas of higher stress or where you have particular problems in getting stiffness. So you can lay up a chassis um, with different thicknesses of material in different areas depending how it's stressed. The fantastically strong feather light laminate looks like this. A complete chassis or tub hand-finished to Williams' exacting standards. Uh, 
before the tub can be built, a full-scale solid pattern based on the wind tunnel profile of the car must be handmade. This pattern, or former, will be used to make the final mold for the carbon fibre chassis and bodywork. Often forgotten by observers, but crucially important, are the small components. The myriad of tiny assemblies, often turned or fabricated from exotic materials, that add up to the final car. Spacers, spindles, rods, ties, flanges, bulkhead supports, engine mounts, even some gearbox parts, all are made in-house at Williams. The design of a Grand Prix car is somewhat similar to the design of a fighter aircraft in that you've got many factors, many components, all of which need to be working at their optimum. And uh, a, too much is trying to be packed into too small a space. Particularly now we've moved to turbo engines where the exhaust gas temperatures are in the something over a thousand degrees centigrade and the lubricants are uh, working under very uh, hot conditions and uh, particularly the synthetic lubricants stand up very well to those conditions. Williams have 39,000 square feet of purpose-built factory less than an hour's drive from London's Heathrow Airport. The factory is set, perhaps symbolically, against the looming outline of one of Britain's most efficient power stations. This extension behind the race shop is being built in conjunction with Honda. A true Grand Prix cooperative effort between Japan's most technologically advanced automotive company and the highly specialized Williams team. I've got three things I need to talk to Frank Williams and team manager Peter Collins check last minute details for the 85 season and the fast-developing FW10. Okay, well, the fuel actually is well underway for the whole season yeah. because we've settled on what we're going to be using. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the transportation for Europe's laid on. We've got yeah. dumps at all sides. Everything is discussed and scheduled to interlock with the plan for the team. Um, and they've agreed to take it from the, the dump to the circuit to take it from before the dump you trace. To the circuit. Okay. And for the intercontinental races, yes. that's all okay as well. As last year, Mobile are going to make the fuel in the States. Right. Ford, Canada and uh, all right. Detroit. All right. What's the schedule for the painting of this tub? Is it going to be back in time? Yes. Um, I was talking to Ray Perry, who's doing the painting this morning. Uh, we've got a schedule for doing that. He knows yeah. what's required. Are you putting the red line along the top? The red line along the top, yeah. Okay. All right. It's all okay. okay. Last thing was Spares for Suzuka <laughs> test. I need to know if you've got everything covered because the liaison between Japan and ourselves is obviously very difficult. They yes. don't know what they need. We At the moment, some engine tests are being done in Japan. So everything from complete sets of Goodyear tyres to brake components must be sent to Honda. Do you know if we're running carbon brakes on that for that test for the car? I'm sure we will be at some stage. Yeah, okay. Professionalism and talent is the bond between the team, its sponsors, engineers, management, and, of course, the drivers. Today, Keki Rosberg is at Didcot for Canon Williams' first photo session of 1985. Williams have won four world championships, two championship constructors and two drivers' championships. This year, with Keki Rosberg and Nigel Mansell, Williams could deliver a fifth. Put a hand, put up your hand. Rest, yeah, there you go. That's fine. Good. Good, good. Last year, Williams' first with a turbo delivered a victory in a race that Rosberg still savours. Well, Dallas was a special race. We knew we had problems with the car. We knew we had a learning curve going on with the engine. Dallas, with the heat, with the breaking up circuit, really became a sort of a stamina race for the drivers as well. Um, tires, 
best for the whole lot, and uh, I suppose we survived the best. But what was so surprising about it was that we were as quick as anybody as well. So is this what winning is all about? Yeah, I like the heat, I like the difficult circumstances, yes. You do? Yes. Well, the name of the game is winning, and it's what motivates everybody here. I mean, to win provides a lot of morale, a lot of pride, a lot of self-satisfaction. Being involved in racing is the backbone of it all. Uh, the bonus is the winning. Thank you.